Shabbat Shalom. Parshat Ki Tetze contains a compendium of many laws which speak towards how to organize a society. And in particular, they have the common theme of how to use or avoid abusing power. It begins with a discussion of war and how to curb the appetites of soldiers who are victorious in war. How do we treat the powerless captives who are taken in battle? And it moves to marital relationships and how to preserve the dignity of both partners in a marriage so that one does not wield more power than the other in the laws of marriage and divorce. And the Torah also speaks about how do we treat those who work for us who are powerless and on and on and on. And in the course of discussing power, the Torah commands us something that I think is stunning. It says, you shall not abhor an Edomite, for he is your kinsman. And you shall not abhor an Egyptian, for you were a stranger in his land. By the time of the writing of Deuteronomy, Edom and Egypt have become enemies of Israel. Edom, who had been in uh, an alliance with Israel, primarily with the southern state of Judah, turned and joined an alliance with Babylonia out of self-preservation. In the sixth century before the Common Era, as the Babylonians came to Israel, laid siege around Jerusalem, and destroyed the temple. And instead of coming to Israel's defense, Edom turned its back. You can imagine the feeling of the ancient Israelites to Edom. And Egypt we know quite well. Every year at a Passover Seder, every year as we read the book of Exodus, we are reminded once again of how the Egyptians enslaved us, beat us, made our lives bitter. And you can understand how an ancient Israelite hated the Egyptians. But the Torah reminds them and us that even those whom you hate, even those who oppress you, even those who would wish you harm, could have done something at one time or another for which we should show appreciation. The ancient nation of Edom was a descendant of the biblical character Asaf, Father Jacob's twin brother. So we are kinsmen. And no matter what happens within a family, family should trump whatever hurts and whatever angers pertain to that moment. And so instead of hating Edom forever, remember, we're family and we can't hate family. And no matter what Egypt did to us, we remember that at the time of famine, towards the end of the life of Father Jacob, when Joseph was already in Egypt, Egypt took us in and fed us. Yes, they later enslaved us, but they showed us great kindness at one time. And the Torah tells us, remember their kindness. And therefore, when we read Ki Tetze every year, we think about who in our lives, against whom we are angry, against whom we hold grudges, enmity, who do we argue with, and think about them. There must be something that they did for us early in the relationship, perhaps not, for which our attitude should be one of gratitude. And if we fill our souls with gratitude, there will be no room for anger and certainly not for hate. May we remember all the kindnesses and quickly forget all of that pain. May you have a Shabbat Shalom and a Zisan Shabbos.